matter. Can you get up? I know, that was a hard labor, wasn't it? Good morning, it's Tuesday. Tuesday? It's Tuesday, right? Yesterday was a long day. Thankfully, Carissa came last night, but it doesn't look like she had any more lambs. Must have been a slow one. Okay, let's see if we have some new babies today. Hi, Billy. I don't think we do. Maybe we're in the reprieve. Cool, cool. I think today's mission will be to start rearranging these pens. I'm gonna kind of show you what we look like currently. Okay, so what I typically do is these lambing pens, they, they start at the end, right? You saw that last week. But they go in here as they lamb, and then after 24 hours after I tag them, they go in the back pen. But as you can see, that back pen gets full fast, and I don't want to run out of room for these guys to do their lambing nicely and have enough feeder space. So I'm going to use, these guys have a ton of room. A ton, a ton, a ton. So I can push those guys back, back further and start looping this pen into that pen. Have you guys drank? Ah! Oh, the one doesn't sound like it, does it? Ah! Have you had a drink in those mammoths? So that one looks really big still, but this one doesn't look as bad. Oh, maybe it is. Have you fed them? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna grab a bottle and uh, drain her out again. She doesn't like it. Good morning, my peanut. Hello, my peanut. How are you? You're not a suck at all. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> okay, we're across the road, and the, the lambs that I weaned, I can't remember what day I weaned them. Last Thursday, maybe? Uh, I have them all pushed up the center alley, and I have my first batch ready to go. And I'm gonna get right in with them. They're not easy to move the first time through. They're not easy to move the second or third or fourth time through. So I'll just get right in with them. Scan their ear tags and just deflect them back into their pen there and uh, get some weaning weights off these guys. Okay, we have them all weighed. And uh, there was 89 in that group. So that's the second half. I think the first half was there 120, something like that. So I think there's around 200 lambs. I'm gonna go into the stats and see, and see how this group did. All right, so there was, yep, 89 lambs. So 21 was the lightest, which is pretty bad. Uh, and the biggest one was 74. Average weaning weight on this group, so that's the difference with not having the bottle babies in it, was 53.8. So that's really good, I would say, for, for a weaning group. Uh, let's see what else. How did our, let's see the sexes. Okay, so in this group, lat, the, the first half of the group, majority, of, majority were ewe lambs, and in this half, majority of them were ram lambs, which could be why the average weight was a bit higher. So here's, oh, they're pretty close though. So average weight for the rams was 54, and for the females was 53.5. With a high, a high of 74, low of 72, 21, 25. So that's pretty, this is a kind of cool, I just, I've never, I didn't know this thing was here, so that's a really cool thing to see. Uh, let's see by Sire. So Ile de France was only 11% of these lambs, uh, so 10 of them were Ile de France. The uh, highest weight was 73 and a half. And the average weight was only 41. So you can see the Ile de France, you would think it would be the, some of the best weaning weights, uh, but they're not out of all of them. Uh, Suffolk was 54.6. And the Rito, this is what shocks a lot of people. The Ritos had the best weaning weight and the biggest sample. So 54 out of 54 Rito, there was 54 Ritos out of the whole total and their average weight was 55.8. So that is nice to see because that's my replacement breed. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, breed draft room, great. I think that's all we need. So that's pretty interesting. I love this table. It's great. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have been waiting all day for this rain. We've watched every rain cloud this morning go west of us and east of us, and this is the first time we've had some significant something. I know we shouldn't talk about the weather because we have no control, but it's the one thing that really stresses us out, if it gets too wet or if it gets too dry. Uh, so anyway, we're very grateful to, for this rain. Well, we've been busy in here this morning. Uh, so I got this all rearranged, so now the pen I cleaned out yesterday, I have all the lambs. The first half of this group is all in this pen. And then I made a little, I made a little bottle pen for my machine. I got it all set up and cleaned out. And it's running now, up and running. So Chris had tried to train these two. Uh, we have, there's two separate twins, so off, each off their own mom. Uh, but mom are, the mom is not, they're not, they're not producing enough milk. So she's been supplementing them with the bottle. And I said, let's pull one of them off so the mom can at least feed one full time. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to use this, but I think I'm going to. All right, let's go see if we have some lambs. There's nothing, which is weird. So I think for the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to tag these guys. So those are the lambs from yesterday. Uh, I think our count, I'm not sure what our count is. I'll put it here. I have this little, the lamb, one of the lambs with the mom with the engorged udder. That one I had to tube this morning. It's got something neurological going on with it. So it's got tremors. I gave it a little bit of thiamine this morning just to help, but I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. This one's drinking good, but not from mom. So you can see those teeth still engorged. So we'll have to feed them again. We ran out of feed over in this bar and I completely forgot. So thank goodness Mark remembered. The worst thing you can do with finishing lambs is if they are used to having all the feed they want all the time, especially grain, if you run out, even for a day, um, and they're used to just eating whenever they want, uh, what happens is they will, they will gorge as soon as they get it, and they will bloat, and they will die. And, and it happens really fast, and it's happened to me before. So. Uh, I was able to scrounge up enough feed until Mark was able to get a wagon freed up to um, to fill it with corn and fill our bin up again. So I'm going to feed my lambs. I worked on that one ewe for a week and got her lambs drinking on her. I have one that absolutely cannot. Just physically not able to feed her lambs and we can't even get the lambs on her. Uh, number one, they can't get their mouth on her teeth. Now in a few days that should subside, but she will not let me milk her out at all. Uh, I do not wave the white flag lightly, but with this one, not dealing with her. And she's acting like she likes her lambs, which she does, but she will not let them touch her because her udders are gorge. Oh, someone's in labor. It's been no one all day. Oh, so this one's... Anyways, so you win some, you lose some. That was quick. We have a baby. First baby today. 
go. We got a village again. Wow. I walked away for a second and she spit out another one. So now we have twins. Good mommy. I don't know what I was thinking. It's the night check and I already had my shower. I'm like losing my mind. So the bottle babies that I grabbed, their moms are now realizing that they are not in their pen and they're mad. They're not alone. They have the one twin. I've just pulled one away because it's not getting enough. All right, let's go see if we got some babies and then I'll work on getting them on the machine tonight. Carissa's gone tonight and she's usually my trainer. So this should be interesting. I suck at it. She's getting close. Yep. Okay, I'll work on those lambs while she does her business. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get to train. Are you still hungry? Who's yelling? <laughs> so I got them all to drink really well, I think, but they're still crying, so I'm gonna try again. This one definitely seems okay. That one I had to tube for the third time. It's like like a death grip on on the nipple, but doesn't suck, so no, no sucking reflex. So I still think it's got some neurological issues. But it's pooping, and it is taking the tube. I'm gonna check that you again, because I don't hear anything back there, but uh, I might have to put these guys on this one more time before I go into bed. Holy cow, that was fast! And it's little, so she's probably got more in her. Good girl, Mom. That is efficiency. Do we have another one? Yes, we did. Good mommy. Just in time for bed. Yay. Are we halfway through the week already? Yes, we are. It is Wednesday. Oh. My symphony. My babies. Oh, it's so sleeping. Oh. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You scared me. You scared me. Oh, I hate that. We have babies. Is it stuck? She's having another one and I think it's stuck. I'm gonna go help her. Two really big twins. And it looks like she's been laying here for a while because it's all pawed up. So I hope she gets up. Get up. 
I know, that was a hard labor, wasn't it? Not a very big you. Atta girl. Atta girl. Guys, look. Two this morning. There's another one lambing. Good mama. I might go on Instagram live. Okay, I'll be back. We have a baby. It's a busy morning all of a sudden. So if you want to see this one being born, if you go over to my Instagram, uh, I film this live and it comes on the feed now. So you should be able to see it. As long as you want to see it, it goes to IGTV. So now, instead of blurring the content, I can just throw it on Instagram and you guys can see it there until they censor that too. Good mom. So I got to move them. She's probably got another one. And then the other one's still at the back bonding. This one's still at my feet. I would like to give you your lamb back, but I just don't. That has not come down at all. I do wonder if this one's drank. The one that was born last night. It's awfully uh, chirpy. And I did not feed a colostrum before I left last night. And I thought about it briefly. But she had milk. And they looked active. So now I'm regretting that decision. Because I don't know. I might just grab a bottle now to see if it drank and if it doesn't drink then I know it's okay but I got these guys moved in here and that one over there is having another one so I'm gonna let her do that in peace and I'm gonna grab a bottle for it it's a busy morning finally that was quick I literally filled up a bottle tried to feed that lamb wouldn't drink and it had already spit out another lamb. So we have twins. All right, I'm gonna move them because they're feisty. Poor mom, she can only lick one off at a time. Hey guys. It's drinking. No more tubing. And I'm usually the world's worst tuber, so this makes me feel pretty good this morning. Great. Well, we have another two that have lambed. One had twins, and one had a big single, and it was coming out backwards, so I came out and gave her a hand getting this lamb out. And it's a nice big one. So what Carissa did notice is this ewe is really slow coming into her milk, so that's the second or third one that I've had this issue with. Uh, barely a drop even coming out. Now, I have faith. There's no uh, visible injury to the udder of the teat, so I have faith that she'll come into it. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna give her a shot of oxytocin, and that's just to help with milk letdown. Uh, it helped with that one ewe a couple days ago, so I'm hoping it'll help with this one. Uh, but I'll get Chris to keep an eye on those lambs because they will need colostrum if they haven't had any in an hour. I might just give it to them anyway, just for insurance. These ones here, Carissa got 150 mils into them both. And throughout the day, I was maybe able to get about that again. Oh, hi, you want some? So, yeah, they are not getting enough from mom. So, we will keep feeding them tonight. I'll leave them with her and check her again in the morning. If she still hasn't come into her milk, I may have to pull these lambs too, which really sucks. I'm not really sure what's going on. They're not very old. These 2016 ewes, that's the second one with these milk issues, so I don't know. I hear some noise down here, so let's go see what's going on. You having a baby? Mm -hmm. What's going on? 
You have that sound. Yep. I'm going to let her do her thing. And I'm not going to interfere because so far they've been doing such a fabulous job on their own. I'm going to work on those bottle babies, make sure they've drank because it's a long night if they haven't. Do you want me to help you? You're such a lovely you. It's like she thinks this is my fault. Checker. Well, we had a beautiful little baby boy. Mum is doing well. So, pretty big lamb, but it was coming out the right way. I just, I just helped get that head out, out, out of her. She's just a bit tight. So it's all good.